Hello and welcome to another episode of Abstract Thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss the newly released feature of small multiples on the new card visual in November 2024. So let's have a quick look at what we plan to discuss in this video. First of all we will go ahead and look at the release notes of November 2024 to understand what is small multiples for new card visual. Then we will go ahead onto the Power BI desktop and we will enable the new card visual under options and setting and options. Then we will explore small multiples on the new card visual. And finally, we will play around with various settings available for the new card visual small multiples. So let me jump onto the release notes of November 2024. So I am here on the November 2024 Power BI feature summary. And in this feature summary, when you scroll a little bit down, you will find a feature which is small multiple for new car visual review. Once you click on that, you will find the details about that. With this month's update, we are enhancing the card visual with a new version that retains all the familiar features and update while adding the advanced functionality and improved user experience with small multiple. This feature is currently preview and the new card visual offering is an excellent opportunity to experience the capabilities of the feature. Small multiples are a series of similar card ties displayed together in grid format, each representing a category or dimension of data, allowing for easy OKR comparison and analyzing multiple fields. You will be able to use the small multiples means the cards will repeat based on categorical variable which you are going to provide. The newly feature enhances the data organization, visual clarity and performance making it easier to analyze and present data effectively. To try it, navigate to options and setting, options, preview features, new card visual and make sure it is enabled. That is something which we have enabled in the past and the card visual has arrived. If you are not using the new card visual, you have to enable that. Another advantage of new small multiples feature is extensive customization it offers including small multiple layout, can choose from single column, single row or grid and customize the number of small multiple rows or column displayed. Advanced formatting option features such as font, styles, color coding and traditional format. Borders and grid lines. The enabled individual controls for border and grid lines permits the customization of style, width and transparency. Overflow style. Options include continuous scroll or pagination to smoothly navigate to the multiple cards without overwhelming the visual space. Headers. Choose from the horizontal or vertical orientation, top or left position, customizable alignment, font color, transparency, padding, plus background color and image. So these are the few of the features which I want to explore into the Power BI. So this is the summary of the notes. Now time has come that we jump onto the Power BI desktop. On the Power BI desktop, first of all, let me showcase you my schema under the data model view. It contains my usual sales model, which contains a central sales fact joined with item dimension, customer dimension, geography dimension, and date table. All the joins are one to many and mostly single directional. We go back to the report view and add a page to start today's demo. But before I start today's demo, I would like to tell you the setting to enable the new card visual in case you have not enabled it previously. File, Options and Setting, Options. And in the options under the preview features, inside the preview feature, I have already enabled new card visual. In case you are doing it for very first time, it was unchecked. Press on OK and continue. In my case, I can press on cancel and continue. When you press OK, you might have to close and open your file again in case it is asking for that. Back onto the Power BI page and let's call this new page as card quiz. On this page, I'm going to add a new card visual. So first of all, I'll open the build visual pane from my right hand side where I have seen all the panes. And from here, I'm going to add a new card visual. Or in this card visual, I can add multiple measures, but I'm going to add one major to start with. I have added the one major and as you can see the net value is displayed on the new card visual. I will go ahead and add Bran onto the small multiples and you can see the option of small multiple has also been provided into the new card visual. As I add that you observe that my new card visual is showing Bran but because of the space limitation it's not showing it properly. Time has come to provide this visual more space. 
or make it little bigger. Now you are able to see the brand and the net. It's only showing the three rows as of now. And we are going to adjust it using the new format properties which we have got for small multiple. Let's click on the format. And you have got two properties here. Small multiples layout and a small multiples header. So first of all, let's look at the layout. So single column layout. Right, like, right now we can continue with that. And we use five multiple for displaying the multiples. When the reason I'm not showing 10. Because I would like to show you the scrolling as well as the vertical headers here. It's single column. I could have gone for single row which will look like something like this. I need to do width adjustment in that case. And I can make it a little smaller if I want like that. That's the way. Or I could have made it as a grid. Once I made it a grid, show the values like this. Brand 1, brand 10, brand 11, brand 12, brand 13. I can choose the layouts like how many rows and columns I want. I can make it a 4 by 4 matrix by choosing 4 rows and 4 columns. Now depending on the values and the font size, you can make it a little different. So let's go back to the single column layout. Keep it 5. We have the borders. Uh, you can see I can add the additional border. If I add the additional border, I can change the color or I can change the width, etc. If I add the border, I can change the width. And if I start changing the width, we'll be able to see the border. Grid lines, in case you want grid lines. Don't use grid lights. Pay attention here. If you don't use grid, grid lines, what happens? Uh, overflow, paginated or continuous scroll. So let me change it to continuous scroll. Now you can see on. And if I make it paginated, you can see small icon here and then scroll down and you can scroll up using the pagination. Pagination could be vertical and horizontal. That's what you can do. The background, in case you want to change the background, I'm not interested in changing the background as of now. And the shape, the shape could be a little bit rounded corners here. You can observe the rounded corners. Now it is column wise with single major so I can reduce the width. As we add more major we have to increase the width according to that. So these are the properties which I have inside the small multiples and the various stuff which I can change out. I can make the single column, single row or grid layout and I can play around with. When I go to the small multiple headers I have you know whether I want the is for one series or for all the series. As of now, I wanted to do the changes for all the series. So let's me go ahead and change the orientation to orientation to vertical. And this is something you were asking for long now that we need to display it vertically. So you have option in the small multiple header for the orientation. A position is left or top. Right now it is left and when I make it top, you will stop seeing the data. And this top position will be more suited if you go to, let's say, the single row. The top position is more suitable for the single row rather than the single column option. Depending on the requirement, we can play around with the single row, single column as well as left and top. It is just basically based on the need, what suits most for your requirement. It doesn't look so good. So let's change it back to the 5. Then let's go down and make it from the top to left. There are scenarios where single row will look better than the single column. When you have a lot of values, it may be a little better to have the single row along with the left. This is giving a different look and feel. And if you want, you can continue with that. But let me make it little smaller. I will go down and change the position to the top. Now for the top display, I have to again do little bit of visual size adjustment. Vertical orientation. Let me change the number of small multiples from 5 to 8. This is not the most suitable UI for what I am displaying right now, but I just wanted to showcase you the properties. Let me play around little bit and go back to the single column view. I'm back on the single column left layout. Now on the headers, uh, what we can also do is do the change of the color. So background is on off. I can have a background color and the background color a little lighter color. So I can choose a background color or I can choose a background image. One can play around with the call out value, enable and disable that to disable the values. Also, we can play around with the label. If you have only one major, you might not want to display the label. But yes, if uh, I have more than one value, if I add other major, which is gross along with net. Now in such case, I would definitely like to have a label. I am having gross and net now. So I need to go ahead and change the layout position to single row in this case. Now this is the layout position of the card. You have a multiple. 
card visual this is not the layout position of small multiple this is only layout which we get with the card visual and we can change it when we use more than one major to display it correctly can choose between the style card and table and when i choose card you will see the small differences of individual card display in this you can try out the various properties and the option which has been provided with this small multiple option of new card visual power bi is putting lot of effort these days to enhance your visual experience so keep an eye on every month's update what power bi has stored for you in the future so why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you